XD. We're back with another video. Check out the new setup. That's right, baby. 2022 <laughs> Video Game XD is here, baby. And guess what? We went to a bunch of places. We, did. we went to Rock of Ages, which was awesome. Yes, Garden City, Michigan. Check out Rock of Ages. They got CDs, DVDs, even Records. I even seen a Mario 3 video game there. Wow. NES. Yep. yep. Check them out and you know, they got M&E merchandise if you're into that stuff. They got rock music, rap, country, everything. It's one of the last record stores in existence. Yeah. <laughs> Not just Michigan, I think. Um and we also went to uh, Game Pond. Check out your local Game Pond in yeah. um, Waterford, Michigan. They were a pretty decent store. Not, I wouldn't say they were my top ten, you know, top video game place, but I would definitely put them in my top fifteen. Yeah. So, but I did like Game Pond. Very chill in uh, Waterford. I'm even thinking about moving out there. I know. Because Water <laughs> Waterford's chill, like country but it's cool country it was like relaxed yeah. we went to a guitar place out there dope and back here we got the mk2 going we got the video game xd logo yeah so let's check out all of our pickups we went to some other places as well we can't remember everything every store we went to <laughs> yeah because we went to a lot <laughs> we even went to a thrift store out there we found cds so this is going to be cd grabs DVD grabs, maybe even Blu-ray buys. We even went to the library where we live, Michigan. Yeah. Davidson. So we're going to show those off. We're going to start with Jen. Let's check it out. All right. Let's start and see what I got. So the first one I got, um, I got a good set of CDs. So this one is Stained Break the Cycle. So, yeah. And a lot of these were $2.99. Um, so these ones are like, kind of like the used markdowns, you know, basically, but really good prices on a lot of them. So two ninety nine dollars for Stained. And this was at what, Rock of Ages? This was at Rock of Ages, right. yeah. Um, so this one was also two ninety nine. uh, Stevie Nicks. Really big fan of Stevie Nicks. I really like Stevie Nicks. She's, uh, definitely a, definitely a great singer. I mean, obviously she's older now. She doesn't really do much singing now, but, um, back in the day, man, she was a shit. So I got me a Stevie Nicks. Um, this uh, one was a really cool I thought find. Stevie Nicks was a dude. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I thought that was a dude. I'm like, no, that's a chick. <laughs> so, um, the next one I got is $14.99, uh, but this is a good pickup. This is actually an Aerosmith Gold. So you get two CDs in this. So I recommended you get this. Yep, he was like, yes, if you're going to get one, get this one. He says this is probably going to be the best one. This is basically a compilation of all of their best hits. So, $14.99, got this at Rock so, of Ages. this is very similar to the, um, what is it, Ascensional. There's Ascensional collections, yep. but the gold editions are kind of the same thing. It's kind of like, honestly, almost the same song. So, yeah. 15 good deal. So, uh, next one's $2.99 for Trapped. And I honestly don't know if I really know. He's like, yeah, you might want to get this you one. You know Trapped. Come on. I'm strong. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I've heard of it, but... Headstrong, I'll take you I'm better on. with listening to the Headstrong, songs. I'll take you on anyway. I'm not good with names. I know. Not that... good with bands. I'm more better with listening to the song. I'm like, yeah, I've heard it. So, yeah, so we picked that one up. They use that for WWE, I want to say Vengeance 2004. Three, oh, okay. I think. So this one is two ninety nine for Kid Rock. Kid Rock. Love my Kid Rock. Um, I've watched and listened to a lot of his music. Love his videos. Love the music. It's just definitely... There's some country in it. There's rock, like, pop. Like, he's definitely kind of a miscellaneous of everything. Well, he started off as a rapper... Yeah. And then he became a rocker, and then a country guy, and now he's kind of back to doing the rap, which is cool. Yeah, I love the disc. A lot of people hate Kid Rock now. They're different. Yeah, well, I don't understand Just that. the whole Trump stuff and his political views. And... You know, political stuff always well, gets We're a way. Michigan channel. We gotta have Kid Rock. Like, he's a part of it. That's right. <laughs> Same thing. Love my Kid Rock. Twisted ICP. Like, they're all Detroit guys, you know? Mm-hmm. 
So this one is Foreigner for two ninety nine. I don't know what the hell that is. You know, I've heard the music. It is good music. I just am not like very good with the names and the bands, like I said. But I definitely do like the music, so we'll have to listen to it so you can hear. I'm sure you've heard their songs. You probably just don't remember. Yeah. So the rest of my CDs that I got was actually at the thrift store out in Waterford, and these were all 99 cents, or a buck, I think, is what they were. So the first one I got was uh, Bette Midler, Beaches. So Bette Midler, she is one hell of a singer as well. I mean, I, she's also older, doesn't sing. Oh, no, Bette Midler. Bette Midler. Is that um, from she, the witch movie? Uh, she's in a witch movie. Um, she's in... Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus, No, yep. she's a singer? Yes. What? Yes, she singed, uh My best song that I liked from her was uh, When... F- when beneath my wings. She's a singer. Yes. I, very, very good this is singer. News to me. Yes, she's a very good singer. That's weird. That's so weird. you'll have to listen. Learn to something it. new every day. It's really good music. Um, next one's uh, TLC, crazy, sexy, cool. I picked that. I found that. Yep, he found this one, so I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. You know, I definitely liked uh, TLC back in the day, so. Waterfalls is probably my favorite song. One dollar. One buck. Thrift store at Waterford. Waterford. I, we can't remember the name, but... Yep. So I also picked this one up. Wasn't exactly the CD that I wanted, but it's a good start to, you know, collecting their music. Boys to Men. I've been looking for a specific song from Boys to Men, which is actually our song. I'll make love to you. I'll make love to you. That is our song that we have. And I can't seem to find the CD just kind of laying around unless I want to pay a lot. And I don't want to pay a lot. I'm kind of cheap, so I just We were disappointed because we don't know any of the songs on that album. I mean, I've heard of them, but I just it's not... It's none of their classic. Like, it's none of the classics. Maybe, it's just not the one I wanted. Maybe that was a crappy album they put out. It might have been, but um, I still picked it up anyways just because I do well, like Watch, Boys we'll get Men. some hardcore Boys to Men comment. <laughs> Dude, that album was great. That was so awesome. You're man. an idiot. <laughs> Um, so this one is actually a soundtrack off of The Bodyguard with uh, Whitney Houston. You know, God rest in her soul. You know, she's been passed away for a while. Um, but yeah, this was uh, definitely a really good favorite of a movie for me. I definitely like this movie. Um, and she's such a great singer, was such a great singer. I love all of her music too, so... Um, this one has I Will Always Love You on it. That one was my favorite off of this set. So, definitely had to get that. And for a buck, I couldn't pass it up. I'm like, why not, you know? So this was, um, this next one I got was actually one that I used to listen to when I was like 15. Like, when this came out, like, this was my jam. I listened to this CD probably over and over for months. Like Gwen I Stefani, baby. listened to this so much, so much. Gwen Stefani with uh, Tragic No Kingdom. Doubt. Tragic Kingdom. Yep, No Doubt. That's the best No Doubt album. Yep. I think that was the first one, right? I want to say it was the first this one. This is the one with I'm Just a Girl. Yep. And, uh, don't speak. Yep. You know. Yep. So we we'll pick that up. Play the Clue. Play the Clue. <laughs> no, I'm talking about um, <laughs> The last CD that I picked up is uh, probably one of my favorites that we picked up. Linkin Park, baby. Hybrid Theory. One of the greatest albums ever made. Yep, like there are so many good songs. I don't think there's... There's not one bad song on yeah, there. Yeah, I'll say I don't think there's one bad song on here, so I'm super stoked to be able to have it. Um, love Lincoln Park. Rest you know. in peace, Chester Bennington. Yeah, so it's kind of crazy of how a lot of the you know people that we loved and cherished over the years are not with us anymore. So those are my CDs that I picked up, and this was a um, NES. So this is Ghost and Goblins. Sixteen ninety nine. Sixteen ninety nine. I've never played this, um, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty close to. What is that other game? Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which Ghouls is the and Ghosts. sequel. So I'm assuming it's something. They're all good. So yeah, we picked that up. So I haven't got to try it yet because I wanted to show it off first. We got that at where? We got this at uh, Disc, Disc Replay. Replay in Flint. So yeah, we picked that up. By the way, you guys, this might be a two-part episode. 
It could be. Yeah, we're so already we, creeping on ten minutes. We and... did the, the last one was two part. <laughs> I haven't but even finished my. Don't stuff worry, yet. I'm probably gonna merge them together. So the last couple things I have here are all the rest of them are all movies. Um, this one is 288, and I believe we got this at Media Reload um, in Burton. So this one is called Wolfman. Never so, heard of it. Don't believe I've ever seen it, but it looked really good. Um, and I'm definitely into those styles of movies, you know, supernatural or, you know, paranormal and, you know, vampires and werewolves and all that kind of crazy stuff. So I had to pick it up. It looked pretty good. And it has um, Anthony Hopkins in it. So I definitely love me some Anthony Hopkins. So I had to pick that up. Uh, and this one I actually picked up for our wedding because when we get married, we're going to be giving out, you know, vampire movies as like a party favor. So we had to pick up Queen of the Damned. I think this was 288 as well. Gotta have Queen of the Damned. <laughs> Gotta we're have Queen of the Vampires here. Yep. I mean, we even have a lot of the songs off of this movie on our wedding playlist. So I was like, we gotta have this movie. It's kind of stupid not to have this movie. So yeah, even the just... soundtrack to this movie is like incredible. Yes. Yep. The soundtrack's so. actually better than the damn movie. Yeah. The movie's so. okay, but the soundtrack makes it. So we picked that up. So that was pretty awesome. <laughs> this last one that I picked up that I purchased was 388 from also for Media Reload. Tom Hanks and Mazes and Monsters. I have never seen this, and I'm a huge Tom Hanks fan, um, and it just kind of intrigued me with, you know, the mazes and the monsters, like, I don't know exactly what it's about, but it looked pretty kind of creepy and suspicious, and curiosity got to the best of me, so I'm like, I've got to try this one out and see what it's all about. So that's all my actual pickups. The rest of these movies are all from the library that we rented and are going to watch. It's a bunch. We have like 11 of them. Huge I loads. Mega deals. <laughs> There's like 11 of them, I think. So the first one that we got um, is Creep Show Season 2. So um, I really wanted to have this one because I thought, you know, I really enjoyed Creep Show the first season. So why not check out the second season? And this is a new one. So this just came out not too long ago. Creep Show. 11 Terrifying Tales of Terror. So why not pick it up and try it out? Why does that remind me of Tales from the Crypt a lot? It does look a lot like, like Tales from the Crypt. Does it have anything to do with Tales to the Crypt or is it just... You know, not that I know of, but... It always looked like We Tales. don't... I couldn't tell you for certain. Like, it, it's very possible. So this is a comedy. Tyler Perry's Medea's Family Reunion. This is an older one. This isn't new, but this is a great movie. Um, I don't believe Charles has seen it. I love so. Medea. Medea's hilarious. So we had to pick it up. Get your ass in that room, boy. Beat your ass. <laughs> These kids nowadays need to ass yeah. They They need some Medea in their life. That's These what Gen they Z. need. <laughs> We're joking. Yeah, so it's all good. You gotta have some fun. So this one's actually a new one as well. God's Not Dead, We the People. You know, I kind of pondered on watching these movies for a long time. You know, kept thinking, do I really want to watch these? Are these going to be any good? But people kept telling me, watch them. They are good. You're going to want to check it out. So I watched the first movie. Then I watched the second. Then I watched the third. And I didn't realize I had a fourth. And this just come out. So I watched all four of these. And they are all great. You um, it's a guy, baby. If you have not watched it, definitely want to check it out. I mean, obviously... You know, religion. I mean, I'm not a big religion person. I'm not. But I do believe in God, and uh, we're not going to get religious here. But I'm open to watch any movie as long as it's good. You would definitely like this one. Like, like we'll go from horror. The movie's actually almost, it's kind of crazy. Like, they literally talk about how it's been proven that God exists. We'll go from blood and guts to that. Like, like it's, it's, yeah, it's crazy. To... Like, I'm a mixture of everything. I don't have just one set thing that I like. I am a mixture of a whole lot of things that I'm intrigued by and that I like. Horror is kind of more up there, but I like everything. Like, there's not much I don't horror watch. video games are freaking expensive. They are expensive and they are pretty creepy, but they are fun Resident to play. Evil 8. <laughs> game that's been out for two years is still $40. Yeah. 
So, um, this one is called Scarface. I believe Charles I found this up. one. And this now, is also new. This is the OG. This isn't the one with, um... I'm really tired, you guys. I've been up all night. <laughs> I can't think right now. <laughs> this ain't with Tony Montana. You're talking... This is the this is the one from, like, the 30s or 40s or something like that. The one that came way before, um... Yeah, it's definitely, uh, black and white. So. I've never watched it, so I wanted to check it out. I've heard it was it's still it's good. So who knows? Maybe it will be good. Uh, we also got this comedy, Tyler Perry, A Medea's Christmas, the movie. <sighs> so we gotta pick that up and check that one out as well. She is super funny. I do like some Christmas. Movies. I should say Medea is pretty funny. Medea's not really a woman. Medea's really a Mary, no, a man. Tyler a Perry. <laughs> so yeah, we picked that up. Uh, this one is called Gaia. Terrifying. Sure to make your skin crawl. This is also new. Um, don't know much really about it, but it just come out and it looked scary. So I figure why not check it out. It looks pretty creepy there. So we got that one. We also got uh, The Night House with Rebecca Hall. Don't know who that is, but again, looks creepy and it's new, so... Why not? Go for it. Never then it. this one, um, the case, like the cover, really intrigued me. I'm like, I gotta have this one. I gotta check it out. Uh, it's Ghost Stories. This is not new. So is this Ghost Stories to Tell in the Dark, or is this like? A, I want to say it's kind of like that. Or like is this it's like a documentary. No, it's definitely not a documentary. Um, it doesn't look like ghost stories to tell me. It says, it. experience three spine-tingling tales of terror to, t to haunt your dreams. Um, so it's like got like three different stories of ghost stories in this movie. So, But look at the cover on that case. Like, she looks freaky. So I had to pick it up. So why not try it out. I'm kind of into those ghost stories. Whether they're true, false, doesn't matter. I like them all. So why not pick this one up as well, Tyler Perry's Medea's Witness Protection. So yeah. I, I actually picked out all these Medeas. Yeah, he picked out all the Medea movies, we but used, I like them all. We used to own them all, but then we sold it because we needed cash. So we're going to rewatch some of them. So yeah, we got that. Um, and then we also have uh, Kevin James and Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Which is pretty funny. My, I picked that out. My son and I just watched this the other night. So, yeah, it's definitely first a one's, I think good family little, movie. I think the first one's better, but this one was alright. I don't know. This this movie, the first 10, 15 minutes, like his life goes from to the top of the mountain all the way at the bottom under See, cover snow. Here's the, here's the thing with Kevin James with me. Like, I loved him on King of Queens. You know, his TV series, the TV shows. His movies, though, were just always like, eh, to me, like... The, I always thought he was going to blow up in the movie industry, but I don't know. I liked him better on, like, King of Queens and his TV stuff. Yeah, he he did do better in the TV series, but I enjoyed it. I just both. always thought his movies were going to be hilarious because I'm like, oh, dude. Like, and then they came out. I'm like, eh, they're okay. They're kind of mediocre, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the last one I got, guys, you got to have. We actually went to the movie theaters and watched this. Yeah, we did a review. I can barely remember it. We did do a review. I he didn't really remember even watching it. I had anxiety the whole fucking movie. He didn't really watch most of it, but I watched the whole thing. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. We have Candyman. Say it. Well, this is actually <laughs> Candyman 4 or Candyman 5 or whatever. It's, it's, it's not even a reboot. It's... Sequel. It wasn't exactly a great movie. I'm not gonna say it was like the cat's meow, but I did enjoy it because they wrapped a lot of the original movie into this. Right. So they tried to keep it to the most it was originated. I you just know, remember it being different. It was different, different, but they did actually have some of the same characters from the first movie. The, um, the original guy comes back at the end. Yep, and then um, they take the people from there and they evolve it into this movie. So it wasn't the best, but it was really cool to see. It was nice to be able to have a sequel. Most most people gave it a five out of ten. So or yeah, six. I think I rated. I think I rated it a seven. I can't remember. We're more gener generous with a lot of movies. But, but yeah, that's that's all my pickups, guys. All right. Now time 
for Charles's huge load. <laughs> Oops. Oh, you made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't on purpose. I don't know. I'm Anyways, uh, <laughs> we're going to do a part two edition. So stay tuned for part two. Probably going to merge these together. I don't think I'm going to do them separate. I'm probably going to merge everything together. We're experimenting with two parting episodes as of late. You usually only do one, but. I don't know, at this point, I don't think 20 minutes is enough anymore. I think we're, we're going 40 minutes. Now. Yeah. Our grab videos are spicing up. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this is Video Game XD. Stay tuned for part two. We'll be right back.